Strange at Tarot. Today's pick a card reading is a love reading. <sighs> Finally! <laughs> And uh, I asked you what you would like to see the next time and um, a lot of people wanted to see um, where the F is my next relationship and that makes sense um, Venus is uh, like going uh, like went out of retrograde on the 1st of February so now we feel the urge to go forward to move forward and uh, to find something new to mingle with other people and to come out of the hermit mode, right? So uh, let's take a look at this. And uh, I have four options for you. The number one is the rose quartz. Number two is the gold quartz. Number three is the agate. And number four is the citrine. Uh, if you need more time, please pause the video here and I will see you at your pile. Hi group number one. Like usual, I will shuffle the cards now for you and you have the time to give this video a big thumbs up if you like. Number one, this is a really, really nice spread, I have to say, um, because to me it looks like very much so that you are pre being prepared to meet the person that you really deserve, the person of your dreams, maybe your soulmate, um, your twin flame or your life partner. Of course, it always depends on where you are in life and how old you are and all these circumstances, but I really feel that you are being prepared. I see um, that you uh, made through like a lot of um, grief, probably, maybe, not probably, but maybe because um, you are waiting for very long and you um, started to lose hope. Um, you were in hermit mode. I mean, I said hermit mode in the intro and again, like, of course, we have the hermit in our first group. So I feel you are um, in hermit mode. Sorry, we're still in Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I try to express myself, but it's uh, hard. It's hard. So um, you are still in hermit mode. Um, maybe you are slowly coming out of it um, because I see like here we have the Five of Cups, then the Hermit. So you grieved a lot, maybe um, an earlier relationship or maybe you grieved that you cannot find the person that you really want to. I feel that you um, already feel like now you could be um, ready for a new relationship. And um, believe it or not, like everything is pointing towards that. Even if you feel that it is not, because I see that too, um, you feel like nothing is happening. <laughs> but believe me, like behind the scenes, there is a lot happening for you. You are going through a transformation or your life is going through a transformation. So if you noticed that maybe you um, feel like everything is falling out of place, so everything is just pure chaos, everything is not working out, everything is just not like you want it to be, that is a sign that you are being guided in the right direction. You know, there is this saying, like, if everything is falling apart, it might be that everything is just falling into place. So, and I feel that for you. So whether this is like you are in, you feel like you are in total chaos, everything goes too fast, everything is um, way too, and I don't mean even in um, relationship things, but in your whole life, like, um, maybe you have to move, like, in a certain amount of time, it's very chaotic, maybe you have to um, do a lot of work, maybe your work environment is changing, maybe through, um, like, um, structural, um, like, changes within your work, or maybe you have to change your job, or your workplace, maybe you have new colleagues, and everything is very chaotic, and everything is very, um, yeah, it feels really like loud. I don't know, I have like, almost like, do you know when you're sitting in a restaurant or in a big bureau with a lot of people and then it's like, 
everyone is talking, everyone, and it swells and it's almost unbearable. And I feel that, like for you, that it's very loud and very hectic and chaotic in your life, or that you feel like nothing is happening at all, that you feel like there is a standstill, nothing is working out. Uh, when will it ever go into my um, to my favor? Like nothing's happening, but it is. You know, also behind the scenes, there is um, like a moment when you feel pure clarity, and um, this is the moment where it starts to go in the right direction, or at least that you see it because it is. It is in the making. We have in the heart of the reading. We have um, this um, the Knight of Pentacles, also the Soft Whisper but this is a different layer I will come to next and um, the Knight of Pentacles is very tangible very um, very worthwhile but unfortunately slow as fuck okay so <laughs> so um, yeah so don't you don't see it you know I mean you don't see the Knight of Pentacles move it's the only knight that is standing still doesn't make any move mm. at least in the card but this is because it's so slow that you don't see it you know it's you know you have to have like um a fast fo fast forward button and then you would see like you know like this movement and you would condense it to this and then you would see the movement but right now you don't see it and um this is for a reason because um yeah, you should not, like, I feel everything here is divinely timed and guided. Because we have here, I asked about, like, who could, might, like, come forward in next relationship. And um, we have the shaman, trust in higher forces, and the water guardian, connect with your emotions. So I feel like your, your guides, your angels, your uh, ancestors, we, um like the the owl is just like popping out to me like maybe this is um this is maybe your um spirit animal so um or maybe you had i don't know why i see an owl like um uh or oh, what is the name um thermodaxi thermodaxi like the, when 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 they are dead and like they they change they modify um the animals like that you can stand it as a, as a um, sculpture i don't know why this pops up but maybe like maybe this is a sign that maybe your grandfather or someone had this in their office like in their home office i don't know why this pops up but okay um so maybe this is just a confirmation that uh, this is really for you, that um, sign here. Um, yeah, that you are prepared for, um, for your next relationship. And I feel that you, you were um, in hermit mode a long time. And this was just to open up your heart chakra. So um, you had to focus on yourself so that you now can transform and open your heart chakra to welcome the other person. because. This person, I feel, is um, worth like worth waiting for, um, and maybe you have to open up a little bit more than they do, because they might be um, more closed up. I see you have to take. Uh, maybe you had um, also, I think, two readings ago. There was also um, a pile where I said. Um, like you have to take the action. Like if you if you saw that reading and you had the same pile, then please let me know in the comments down below. I would be very interested. And um, like you have to probably take the action. So um, even if you are a woman and you feel like, huh, you know, I am not like, I don't feel comfortable to um, go there and ask them out or something. Then you have to take the action uh, in that case that you have to give them hints, that, that you have to be open um, and that you have to be very um, visibly interested, okay? So you don't have to go up to them, but you have to give them signs. You cannot be closed off 
and um, expect that they come to you. But you will know who this person is because um, you are very interested in them, okay? We have the make the effort and taking the plunge, like right on top of each other. And um, we have the, uh, this is 11, okay? So this could really be your twin flame, you know that this person is your soulmate or your twin flame and you have to dive in so that the other person understands your signals. Okay, maybe you just um, talk to, maybe you start talking to them, like uh, if you are comfortable with that, maybe you start talking to them. Otherwise, this is like, they are, they are very nice um, talks with this person, you know, like very sweet talks, like uh, you're very interested in each other and um, like this, like whispering sweet nothings, right? So yeah, this is, um, also this card is this uh, same, like the same topic. It's about getting to know each other and uh, deeply. So getting like spiritual, spiritually connected, not only on the physical level, but um, are spiritually co connected. So, um, you know, that you know each other and um, that you really are open with each other so that it's possible to uh, find the perfect counterpart. And I feel like maybe you weren't as much open as you would like to or maybe you didn't even realize you were not so open and you maybe attracted the different kind of partner and this is what your angels and masters like they all want to change that for you and this is why they kept you from the opportunities here okay and um, of course we have the six of cups what is awesome because this is a soulmate card and um Right now, this might be like only a painting that you're looking at, but you already, you are creating this, okay? You're manifesting this and um, your masters, your guides, everyone is helping you by keeping you from the opportunities right now, okay? So um, let's see what you could do to um, attract this person a little bit earlier. Like these are um, magic spell cards actually but like they are very very nice so yeah wishes come true rapid achievements of your dreams and wishes so yes this is a confirmation like you are wishing for a relationship and your guides will guide your perfect partner towards you okay now we have mystic star harmony in the home and great friendships okay so maybe for now you work on your friendships um, and your other relationships maybe your family because this helps you open your heart chakra right so um and like it's it's almost like a playground you are um, working on your heart chakra with other people and then when the person pops up like it's much easier for you to open your heart up okay and then we have abracadabra with wings fantastic good fortune and lucky chances so yes this chance will come very very soon i feel this is very close um, so I don't think you have to wait much longer here, okay? I really get this energy that this is coming soon. These are time cards um, and I just want to see, I, you know, like tarot cards are not necessarily well with time, but still, I try to um, get a time frame for you. Time, time, time. Okay, maybe, when will that happen? When will group one meet the next relationship? Okay, we have two. We have um, these are in German. Don't worry about that. So we have Aries and we have Libra. So let's see. So the, the Aries card says um, that it could be a week or a month. So um, Aries is not in a month, but almost it's like one and a half months and like this So it could be like that you really meet this piece <laughs> this piece. No this person. I'm sorry this person um, In as soon as a week, okay, but it could be a month or um, It could be in Aries uh, season what is really like almost it's uh, right now is the I'm sorry, I don't know, I lost track of time. <laughs> Today is the um, 
the 5th. Okay, so it's the 5th of February. And, um, yeah, so it's a little bit more than one and a half months. So it could be a week, a month, and then we have Libra. Um, oh, this means, oh, like... Um, <laughs> like it's it's uh, this is very hard to translate into English, but it seems like uh, not. It seems it's like it's something like um, be like take the leap of faith. <laughs> so yes, so that might be like okay that uh, this connects here with the uh, taking the plunge. Okay, so that maybe you have to um, yeah. I mean, like I said, you have to do the first step. With this person okay so and um, the Libra is um, in September and October so um, it could be like it says seven weeks or seven months so let me think okay so this would be eight months from now so I guess like this person you keep, could meet this person as soon as in a week from now so uh, mid February right now this is a timeless reading you know that um, so um, like a week from now while you are watching and um, up to um, Libra season so this is in September October so like it could be as soon as one week from now or it could be in around um, eight months time okay so this like I said this is pretty soon and it says here with the Libra card enjoy your time so there we have again um, the abracadabra with wings you know until you meet this person don't focus too much on the time frame don't talk fo don't focus too much on um, a relationship focus on the relationships that you already have Okay, so you enjoy the time and the, the time will fly just with the butterfly here. Okay, so thank you very much group number one for spending your time with me. Uh, let me know in the comments if that resonated. Uh, subscribe if you have not yet and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi group number two. Welcome to your pile. As usual, I will shuffle the cards now for you. And if you like, you can give this video a thumbs up. So first of all, <laughs> like what a progression. Before we start, like I want to like share a secret with you. Like we have the world here um, and like the world wanted to slip out also with uh, this, these cards. So I think like there will be something new very, very soon. Just to let you know, <laughs> just from the beginning, um, but yeah. My gosh, like you have like a progression, like you are on your way for a progression here. That is just amazing. You know, like we have the nine of swords, then the seven of cups, six of swords, and then 10 of cups. Like my gosh, you came from uh, really down, deep down and uh, like from confusion, you are rising up to the surface here, okay? And by the way, are you sure that you are really searching for a relationship? <laughs> no, I don't judge. <laughs> but I feel um, like um, this relationship um, could just be like a physical relationship um, that you are searching for or this will develop from one. But let's go step by step here, okay? So I asked like where the F is your next relationship? And I feel like you came like from the nine of swords here, like very, very anxious. Um, this might be that you maybe um, couldn't find someone that is suiting you, you know, like, um, I mean, suit, like match, match with you. Um, and you always thought like, oh, is it me? Like, why are people not um, 
attracted to me or why um, why um, do they only want one thing from me or something like this or why can't I find a person who wants to stay with me like this is very very um, anxious driven thoughts here okay so it also could be that you came out of a relationship that um, provoked these thinking in you maybe this person told you you're not good enough or you're not beautiful enough and I can tell you I get really like very at least physical very um uh very sexy vibes from you okay so um believe me you are beautiful um this person was just just not in his right mind okay and wanted to manipulate you maybe wanted to keep you for themselves so um let that go okay <laughs> and i feel like you had a lot of people that only wanted you for your outer appearance and uh, you had a lot of people um, hitting you up maybe you um, got to know them on like diverse um, like uh, online dating sites or something like this and um, they were like oh you're so beautiful but when you wanted to connect with them that was not possible and um, but I see you you coming out of this okay you're probably like in this um, period of um, transition you are um, like moving to calmer waters here and the end goal is very beautiful we have the ten of cups here so maybe you really want a relationship um, but you don't know how because a lot of people just um, reduce you to your a physical appearance but you will come out of that okay and um, yeah we have oh this is even an angel in this deck um, so I feel like this there is someone maybe an angel that is guiding you here I mean we have the sword so this could be um, Michael even um, like maybe you have a very tight relationship with Michael I already had like I always had um, a very close relationship with um, Michael so maybe you too maybe you're born in February I don't know why but I feel like people that are born in February have a close uh, bond to him um, and um, like some of your guides they will um, slowly um, guide you I, I feel like from now on it's very smooth sailing okay maybe they are the last bombs but from now on it's very smooth sailing here okay and um, like your healing you you have to um, you to do all the healing that uh, maybe maybe you were um, dealing with guilt or shame about your body about yourself about your sexuality and um, I feel that this is like now um, almost bursting okay you you are like very smoothly um, uh, um, sailing into a new chapter of your life with your relationships here okay we have a lot of this is why I asked in the first place but like now I feel like okay you really want a relationship but I feel everything is very much surrounded about sexuality maybe you have very high sex drive or maybe you had to heal um, an icky uh, relationship with sexual with your sex own sexuality and I feel that you are on the right way here you have the healing card and um, it's right next to the last card okay we have a lot of sexuality we have for um, for um, the um, this is uh, the amor uh, um, amor is a uh, psych <laughs> um, tarot <clears throat> I don't know my French is not so good um, and uh, <laughs> I mean I learned French but like it's not it's not the best let's say so um, we also have sexual cards the, in this deck yes there are sexual cards but not necessarily all so you have two with seeking pleasure and the sweetest taboo it's very um, sexual focused but like I said I feel now while I go through your cards that this is mostly because you had to heal the relationship with your sexuality so maybe you were very afraid of having a sexual relationship or maybe you were bullied because of your appearance what like i said like they were probably jealous because i get like a very very beautiful vibe from you here okay 
so um yeah i asked like who could come forward okay and we have here um the elder f uh, flew out like chew and like this was not this was the first card that really flew out because like your other cards were very um stuck to each other like they didn't want to come out like i had to shovel shuffle a lot of times until they want to come out and this was like very easy okay so we have elder move beyond ancestral patterns like this um this type of shame or regret or whatever this maybe comes from your parents and you are freeing yourself from this or you meet someone who helps you who probably is older than you and shows you that sexuality can be very um freeing and very beautiful okay so this might be a person or it could just be your energy here so um i asked what relation what type of relationship could come in okay and then we have um the eight of cups this is the five of wands and um the world so like these are usually a little bit different than um the other cards but i feel your longing has um, soon is coming to an end because we have um, the five of ones and the eight of cups are more for like I want to I long for someone and I feel like this will come to an end whether you are healed and you don't need anyone or someone will enter your life that is ending your um, this period of time okay with the world card like I told you there was the world card um, yeah wanting to come out I just took a look and I didn't take it because it was not fully coming out so um, and with the um, the sweetest taboo and seeking pleasure like this person and you you will have a very rich um, sexual life it might be that this relationship develops um, out of um, a friends with benefits situation or um, like um, um, a primarily um, physical relationship so that um, yeah you would, I mean we have to getting to know each other so this is maybe like <laughs> the reversal okay so maybe you first um, have like pleasuring experiences together like physical re um, relationships and then you get to know each other through these relationships okay that happens too and um, it doesn't make this these uh, type of relationship less valid than if it goes like the other way around okay so let's see what you could do to draw the relationship in a little bit faster so I hope I make myself clear, like Mercury retrograde is effing me up. <laughs> yeah. What could you do? Okay, oh yeah, nice. Okay, we have the festival. Creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. Okay, so that might be that you meet this person um, on a party or event. I mean, you know, right now uh, where I live, it's winter time, but soon it will be spring and then everything will open up again. You can meet more. That will be beautiful. <laughs> okay, then we have Abracadabra with wings again. Pile number one had that too. Fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. Yeah, again, I feel like um, you will end like single singlehood soon. Okay, and then happy love, a joyful, stable partnership and good friends. What could you ask for more? Okay, like this is beautiful. There will be um, a relationship soon that you might even know already because we have the last card here. And I asked, uh, like this is like more in the now and this is more like what you draw in. So it might be that you are having relations with this person already so maybe just physical hooking up a few times okay these are time cards and um disclaimer like time is not working so well with tarot i once um like um yeah like told a friend like you know i i uh, made a reading for her and i told a friend that she will be in a relationship soon and this will was like um 
like within six months and yeah that was not coming true but she was in a relationship after eight months okay so so uh, yeah it happens you know sometimes it's delayed because you have decisions to make maybe yeah, you're not fully ready you know it happens it happens okay so let's see what time frame could that be that you enter a new relationship okay what time frame for week two okay so this could be uh, oh yeah it says now it's moving forward very well so yes i feel that soon maybe we draw another so okay oy, oy, oy. okay so it says here this is not necessarily liable but yeah it says like um it's moving forward very well and it says two days two weeks so that would be very very um early or maybe you um well if you know this person already like i felt like from these other cards that you will meet this person in two days again or in, like you know maybe in two weeks but that seems not so uh valid but if you know this person, you might meet this person in two days. So this is a confirmation that you know this person. If you have someone in mind that you think, oh, yeah, this could be the one like that I'm interested in, then if you meet this person in two days, it's, it's a confirmation for you. But it says, yeah, two days, two weeks. And um, this is Virgo. So it says collect um the the crop yeah collect the crop like um yeah you know like uh, reap what you saw like in that sense and it says six six weeks to six months so this could let me think so yeah whether you meet this person i feel like between two weeks or seven months so because we have um the virgo is in around seven months so uh yeah this will also go very very fast here like group one had between one week and eight months <laughs> so <laughs> this will be very fast if you don't know this person yet you will meet this person very fast okay so thank you group number two for spending your time with me. I hope you liked it. And if this resonates, please let me know in the comments and subscribe if you have not yet. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi group number three. Welcome to your reading. I will shuffle the cards now for you and you have the time to give this video a thumbs up if you like. group number three this is very beautiful i hope you will see that uh, <laughs> it's the same mm. but i have to say um from the groups that i had so far you are probably um the f f most far away from the new relationship but don't freak out they were very very close like so close like number one had uh, up to like to a week to a few months so like this is nothing to worry about um i just feel that you have to um that you have to work a little bit on your boundaries <laughs> I feel you are probably a very watery person that might be that you are a water sign so cancer Pisces Scorpio very um, don't have to be you also can exude all the qualities of a water sign so very fluid and um, very um, feeling driven very um, like deep feelings and maybe a little bit impressionable so um, this might gave you like already a lot of heartache in your life. So um, maybe you are a little bit of a people pleaser. 
I know like oh this has such a bad rap but mm, we all are in our own ways because um, we're social um, beings I'm sorry if I I have this um, like I have a little bit of um, uh, of uh, like uh, like a uh, sore throat so I'm having um, something against that in my mouth so I apologize for that please don't uh, please ignore that <laughs> so um, I feel um, you may be like we are all people pleasers in our own rights because we are social beings and we want to um, be um, loved and we want to be part of yeah part of a family part of a circle social circle but I feel you like your next task is um, to work a little bit on your boundaries actually you know when I like sometimes it's a little bit changing the more I look at the cards and I feel it's not so far away okay I think this is the last task that you have to work on put up your boundaries a little okay so we have boundaries here I mean we have the high priestess of water it's very very watery very fluid and um, like just like water just you know like coating um, other people's opinion maybe and you have to work on your own opinion you have to work on your boundaries and um, also with the mountain stand your ground you have to be a little bit more firm in your decisions and your boundaries and if you master that task and I'm very sure you will because we have here the ten of cups then this person will come in I think you will have um, a lot of opportunities okay when you work on this maybe you think like oh I want you know I want to be liked and this is why I am a little bit like um, yeah I will not say what I really think I will not tell my opinion this is like this is the wrong thing to do when you are opinionated and when you are like firm in your boundaries then these people will see you and they will say like wow what is that person like who is that person this person is very soft and flowy but still like they will not take any BS from anyone okay and I think I feel like a lot of people will come in as soon as you master this task and we have the seven of cups can always be um, a lot of options okay can also be disappointments but I don't see that here for you because of the other cards that we have okay and um, it might be that you wait a little bit longer than the other piles but I don't see that this is like two years or something not at all I feel you also will meet this person really soon and like this this is an amazing person we will come to that later uh, but we already have this in your now so I really feel you are you maybe you worked a lot on yourself already maybe you you um, worked on your life in general like we had a lot of time the last two years so maybe you have everything fixed in your life except for a relationship like you have a great job you have great friends you have everything what you could wish for because the ten of cups is already in the now so I feel you are very very happy in your life but there is this little one thing missing and this is a relationship like I said this is like you have to firm your boundaries a little bit more and then because maybe you know this person needs that whatever why ever okay maybe they are very opinionated and they don't want to deal with people that are like a little bit slack <laughs> in their um, opinions or they are like you know a little bit um, more pushy and you have to stop them that could be that's also not nothing bad okay so um, but just I mean you will you will be an excellent couple but you know you need to work on your boundaries for whatever reason here and um, when you climb these mountains <laughs> to build your stronger boundaries then like this this relationship that will come for you like I um, have yeah I, this could represent a person 
but in your case I would say like this is more of your mindset so um, you have to stand your ground and you have to be firm in your decisions okay and then we have like the relationship I asked for what relationship could come in we have the ideal romance and beyond words this also is reflecting here with a keep an open mind and worth waiting for so this could of course mean especially these two people like that this person that is coming in first of all could be the one i mean we have an ideal romance and beyond words and worth waiting for like these three cards show me that this relationship is really amazing like everything that you dreamt of and even more probably beyond your dreams but this person might be not what you expect okay so um maybe this is also like why you have to work on your um, ground settings and your boundaries because um, maybe you have to defend this person from your outer um yeah your your the outer world so this might be that you are not from the same ethnicity or maybe not the same religion um you know so it when when we see keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from usual type and expectations everyone in first glance is like what don't, will I not uh, find them attractive? Yes, you will find them attractive <laughs> because they are your soulmate and you will find them attractive. But it might be that this this coupling, like, you know, you couple together is not well seen in the outer world. So, like I said, different ethnicity, different religion or just different classes. Um, that, like, one of you is, like, you know, from a rich household and the other one is poor that could also be like an issue for other people for your parents for your friends you know so maybe this is why you have to work on your boundaries this is not showing me why exactly but you have to 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 meet this amazing beautiful person and to have your ideal relationship then you have to work on your boundaries here okay so maybe you have to stay your ground like let's say you your boundaries are not firm and then you meet this person and this has another ethnicity and then other people tell you oh why you are with this person you know and if your boundaries are not firm then you this could destroy the relationship okay and your angels and your guides they don't want that they want to have this they want you to have this amazing relationship okay so please take that seriously and like again like the um the cards that are following are very beautiful like this is about romance this is about satisfaction about love about maybe even children like when i see that card i always feel like um you know she looks a little bit pregnant here she has the, her hand on the belly so this might even be the person you will um, have a, um, like a family with you know so um, I feel like this is so beautiful so promising that um, it might take a little bit more time than you think or it might be taking a little bit more time in general I mean you know like I'm single for four and a half years almost and um, you know I'm just not taking everyone so this is um, legit it takes time to meet a person that is really matching you and I see like if you are working on your boundaries this person will come to you okay so let's see if there is something that you could do to fasten this process a little bit oh you are a lucky person mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay we take three everyone got three so you too we have felix felicitas power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events so yes this might be um um divinely guided so prepare for it because i feel um, you will meet this person unexpectedly and um, you have to f have set everything um, 
yeah, you know, like mise en place. Like you have to have fixed everything before that, okay? Then we have the elements, the elements of fire, air and earth, earth and water combined to create powerful protective boundaries. Again, we have boundaries. Spiritual, mental, physically, physical and men, oh, sorry, mental, physical and emotional. You have to work on your boundaries here, okay? And then we have fire. The element of fire heralds new life, renewed passion and positive transformations. In this card, again, we have fire here in this card. So um, maybe you have to also um, discard some relationships that are not very good for you. Okay, so maybe there are people that pull you down and you might get rid of these people before you can meet this. We also have fire here, people in the fire, you see that? So maybe you have to not, of course, not, <laughs> not literally burn people, but um, to get rid of them and like um, in a metaphorical sense, burn these relationships to the people that are not, um, that are not matching you. And I mean, you are very watery and fire and water can, um, you know, can, can be steamy, yes, but they also create a lot of friction because, you know, water is always eating up the, uh, um, like water can put out fire and fire is eating up water to be steam, right? So, and this could be really exhausting. So maybe you can look at the people in your life that are exhausting and set boundaries with them, firm boundaries, okay? So I will take a look at your time frame disclaimer, um, time and tarot is not necessarily very accurate um, but I will take a look anyway and um, yeah we'll just take a look how much time will pass until this beautiful relation could come in okay <laughs> it says one day it uh, like it's almost too fast one day one week Okay, it could really be that this is one day or week. I don't think that in this um, context because it says it's almost too fast. So um, I feel like it's almost too fast with this person. Okay, so um, you have to get your boundaries fixed. And when this pa person will come, like everything will go very fast and it will feel like very turbulent with this person, okay? Not necessarily with this person, but from the outer world. And you have to be quick. You have to make a quick decision. You have to be, you know, think on your feet in that. So um, yes, it could be one day or one week, but I f would say like, this is um, the, the message that we have. It's almost too fast. It will go fast as soon as you meet this person. Okay, so be prepared for this. Let's we'll get another one. Okay, so this says 10. We have one one. Could be your twin flame, even. Uh, um. So, one to 10. Yeah, this maybe is an ending cycle too for you could represent that it says um, you are beginning fresh like you know you're beginning fresh so uh, it says 10 days 10 weeks so maybe you are not the pile that is like taking longer maybe you had the time already that was very long or felt very long with the ten of swords here oh we have ten ten so that might be you meet this person I don't, I don't see that it's a day or a week, to be honest, maybe a week. Let's say it's between a week and 10 weeks. So as fast as this, okay? This could be that you will meet this person very fast and you have to be prepared because um, this relationship is amazing. It's everything you dreamt of and more, but there will be something in the way what you have to work on. 
okay, with the mountains and boundaries. Okay, group number three, thank you for spending your time with me. It was a great reading. I really, really loved it. Um, if it resonated, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you have not yet. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Last but not least, hi group number four. Welcome to your reading. I will shuffle the cards for you as usual. And if you like, give this video a big thumbs up. number four. I feel that you are right now in a lot of pain, okay? So I feel there was someone that you thought would be um, like the love of your life or your life partner, but it turns out this person wasn't, okay? So right now, and this is only for your energy now, so don't be afraid that I what I what am I about, about to tell you, okay? This is a chance for you to heal, okay? Right now, um, if you are like you are in that mindset of lack, you are very sad and you are still clinging on your ex. And in that mindset, you try to call in your soulmate but this is not working right now okay so um what will come out of it if you are try to get into the next relationship right away is just confusion okay so um you know like the seven of cups can be a lot of opportunities but coupled with the three of swords here i just feel that this is um that this will lead to confusion and this will not um, lead to uh, great results. Like I feel like with the invisible card here, like you have to, there is a, a I don't know if you can see that like in this card, there is um, a mirror. Let me see if I get this to focus. Yeah, so you see that, <laughs> always have to. Uh, she is looking into a mirror and um, she's feeling invisible right now <clears throat> <coughs> because out of her pain, okay? <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Mm. I have a slightly sore throat. Um, yeah. I am already having something in my mouth to calm it down, but yeah. Uh, so she feels invisible but this is because you know like the pain in her heart she is you know like perceived as very sad and she cannot see herself clearly okay and this is um from this situation you shouldn't call anyone in or try to call anyone in because um, this can only attract people that are not good for you, okay? So, um, yeah, the, what you have to do is really work on your, um, like to release things that were before, okay? To release the pain, to release your ex, I mean, even if it was it um, it was not an ex, there was some someone you had high hopes for. Um, even if you were never in a relationship, but there was someone you were um, very much in love with, and they broke your heart. Okay, so it says the time has come to clear your energy, and this is what you have to do, even if it was not an ex. But there is something, even though you were never in love before. But I would say yes, that was a person 
but this um, could also be you like that you have maybe mental issues that you have to work on first okay <clears throat> And that doesn't mean that this has to go on for years and years and years, okay? But you have to work on it. So um, you have to put yourself into the right direction before you should call in anyone, okay? You try to call in a soulmate, but this will not work, okay? And um, these are actually representing um, like who you should draw in or could draw in this says shift your perception and this great teacher wanted to come out <clears throat> and in the end was in the end of the deck and I felt compelled <clears throat> sorry maybe you have also issues with um, speaking up so maybe you um, have to let go of things because I like I have a sore throat but the coughing is only in your pile um, so maybe you have to let out the pain. You should talk to someone. I, I get this feeling. You should talk to someone to release the pain. I feel you bottled something up and you have to release it first, okay? Because right now, what I see here is not ideal, okay? So um, <clears throat> you have to shift your perception, okay? she feels her like she feels invisible you are not okay when you feel invisible and you try to attract someone you will attract someone but this will be a person that um only affirms to you that you are invisible okay so um we have the great teacher learn from spiritual experiences i feel you should concentrate right now on yourself the universe will give you signs when you are ready but right now you are not i'm sorry like i'm so sorry pile four like there is always one pile that is not very um like it's a good pile it's not a bad pile you always have to see this is your chance to change it now before this comes into your life because you don't want that okay because it says here like this is what you are attracting okay this is the now and this is what you're attracting so right now you are uh, attracting unrequited desire and doubt and indecision you don't want that also these two cards like this is cutting off a relationship this card here the the four of um cups you know we have the scissors here this is cutting cutting um relationships off and this is like a person who's jealous of these two so what you are drawing into your life right now is something that you don't want to have in your life okay so you don't want a person that is not decisive if they want to be with you i don't know if you can see that like here is the woman and he has already another woman's hand in his okay i don't know let me try to get this and focus okay you see here there is another hand so um yeah you don't want that and you don't deserve that group number four so um what you have to do concentrate on your healing like you have to clear your energy concentrate on your healing and then if you feel i feel like also like your guides and your teachers your your angels they want to help you they want to heal you okay we have here the the flower of life and they want to be like they want to heal your heart and this is what you have to do first you can do you can draw someone in but what you will draw in is not your soulmate right now not in that energy okay so um yeah so please clear your energy first maybe seek professional help if you want to speak to someone but no one is available like maybe you don't have people you are trusting or something then get some professional help so you need someone to talk to to release what have happened and then when your energy is different you will draw something else in this is just like tarot and oracles always like the mo the momentum the momentum no this is the right word in english like this is only it's almost like a photograph a picture <laughs> look at this photograph <laughs> so this is a photograph um of like the moment okay there is only like you let's say you had a very horrible uh, vacation but there was one um 
there was one beautiful moment and this you had a photograph on and you sent this like you put this on Instagram and everyone thinks oh that was a beautiful holiday but it was horrible there was only one moment it could only be that it was a beautiful um moment but in that like on that day it was raining it was storming if you would take a picture of this then you would only have the impression the whole holiday was awful okay so and this is the same with this tarot is a like is a picture of the moment and when you change like something up okay when you would change like let's say you put that out and you put that out and then you put these cards out and there was a totally different um, picture. But right now, this picture is this because you have to clear your energy first. And then something else can come in and not this, what we don't want here. Okay? So I will do something else, like, for you. I will ask. Let me see. Okay. I will try because like I didn't do so I did do something else for the other piles but for you I will ask what will come in if you clear your energy okay what will come in if book four clears the energy what will come in if look at this like look at this okay there will come chemistry there will be a person who yeah and romantic feelings okay so you have to clear your energy okay so I will also I mean this I did for everyone but I will also change the question because I will not ask what do you do to draw this in I will ask um, what you have to do to change your energy or what you should or could do to improve your energetic field okay so if you feel like this is not resonating at all pick some of the other parts they were all very nice okay what can group four do to change the energy great okay so we have Philosopher's Stone, powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy. I see that with here, with this card. Learn from spiritual experiences. Maybe um, read something like philosophical, maybe um, read something even like religious. Read the Bible if you're into that. Read the Quran, leave the Torah, like some uh, religious manifestum that could help you if you're not into religion no problem there is a lot of um like uh, philosophers uh works that you could read you know or maybe even like um psychological like maybe that will help like to um put your mind into a different mindset okay then we have triple spiral listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons actually this is very much connected also with uh, learn from spiritual experiences okay it says uh, learning life's lessons listening to divine wisdom learn from spiritual experiences okay so um yeah maybe um this is something that would help you um or maybe you would read about um astrology okay that's that's also spiritual or you tr uh, start to do your own tarot card readings okay so um it doesn't have to be one way here okay it doesn't have to um, be religion spirituality is a wide wide range okay now we have tree of life <laughs> oh my god yeah we have the tree of life true wisdom and making good choices in life okay so yeah i feel like you have to clear your energy seek some help and um, change your perspective i feel that is really important for you and then you can draw in these cards okay we don't want these we want these 
chemistry and romantic feelings okay we want this not that underneath okay so thank you group number four for spending your time with me i hope that helped you uh, if you would like to then let me know in the comments if you are comfortable with that um, and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet uh, i love you i will see you next time bye